Superhero Headquarters. There is unusual activity in the Superhero Headquarters. Looks like most of the superheroes have arrived at the headquarters today. What could be happening? What is this hustle and bustle about? Let's watch. Order, order. I call this meeting of superheroes to order. As some of you have heard, there is a rumor going around that superheroes with more power than us have come to Earth. They say that God power from the big G.O.D. and that he is coming to save the world. Oh yes, I hear the same thing. What does this mean? We are supposed to save the Earth. What does this new superhero think he's doing? Do we even know who this new superhero is? Doesn't he know that being a superhero is our job? <laughs> Who is this SI? I don't know this evil villain. Supergirl, is he one of your arch nemesis? So, I don't know this evil villain SIS, but I know I can take it down. Okay, okay, everyone, let's calm down. We don't even know if this new superhero is going to take our job. It's probably just fake news. Yes, I agree. This can be fake news. Didn't you guys see me crush that my friend last week with one hand? I saved a bus full of school children. Yes, I think I'm going to be Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, guys. Iron Man, Superman. We all know who the real powerful superhero is. Let's focus on this new superhero. We can share our glory stories later. Do we know when this new superhero is supposed to show up? Let me check. Guess what? It says that this new superhero already came 2,000 years ago. Since then, his birthday is on Christmas Day, and he's been celebrated all over the world. No way, so Christmas is the birthday of this new superhero? I didn't know that. Yes, I admit, Christmas is the birthday of this new superhero. I heard from my friends at work that there is a church nearby where they go to a play called Come and See. That play The play is hosted by my friend from the school teacher. He's a very wise person. That's all going me right now. I love wise people. Well, I agree. Let's all go and meet I want to know more about this new superhero. Well, I agree. Let's all go. Miss Dutton won't like it if it's not straight. Guys, guys, do I look? Guys, do I look like Mary? I want to look perfect for Miss Dutton. Oh, you look so cute. You look just like Mary. Okay, kids, hush. It's time to start rehearsal. Everybody, take your places. Now, Angel, you can start. Okay. Do not be afraid. Uh, Come on, focus. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive in your womb and give birth to a son. <laughs> from the Bible. Anyway, what brings you to our church? We came here to learn more about this new superhero who is above all creation. We heard he has also 
ultimate power. And he's gonna save the village from this evil villain as I am. Well, you've come to the right place. We'd be more than happy to tell you about this new superhero. Here, you guys may be superheroes, but here, I am the boss. So you'll have to be quiet during dress rehearsal. Now please take a seat. Okay, okay, take your questions. Action, start! He shall be great. He shall be called the Son of the Most High. Here am I, the Lord's servant. Let it be with me according to your word. Now the birth of Jesus happened in this way, when Mary, the mother of Jesus, was engaged to Joseph. But before they lived together, Mary was found to be with a child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child in her womb is from the Holy Spirit. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was, he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged to and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to her firstborn son and in him in a manger. She wrapped him in bands and cloths. There was no place for them in the inn. about my powers anymore. Hold on, hold on. We can still go out and help people, right? Shh. Yes, we can. For God so loved his will, he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Now, when we help people, we should tell them about Jesus' power and about the unending love of God. And that's the reason we do this show every year to tell everyone about Jesus Christ. All this time I thought I was super powerful, but now that I know, I'm nothing compared to Jesus. Yes, I mean, you were absolutely right. I was so full of pride about my power. Yeah, me too. I thought I was most powerful. 
wonderful. Thank you, that Nick, for bringing us here. I'm going to go tell everyone about Jesus. I'm so glad that we all came here and learned how deep God's love is for us, that he gave his only son for us. Let's all go out into the world and tell everyone about the ultimate superhero, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Jackson. Jackson. Come on, everyone. Let's sing together. Come on, superhero. Sing along with us. Thank you. 